live from Jerome Harden Studios. Relax, chillax, and I'll tell you ladies. Hello, my name is Jerome J. Harden, founder and graphic designer of Jerome Harden Studios. Um, I'm making this special newscast because today I turn officially 30 years old. That is right. I'm not ready to be 30. At least not just yet. I just want to embrace my 20s a little bit more, but time goes on and time's moving fast. So um, I just want to get my thoughts out on what it's like to be turning 30 officially today. So um, you see this red hat the last time I wore it at the high school reunion and along with this sh flannel shirt right here with the pockets and stuff. But anyways, um, my thoughts on turning 30 today and I'm going to give you the experience when I was in my wholesome 20s through 20 years old to 29 years old. Let me tell you a story of what I've been through, what lessons I learned, and what kind of hardships I've been through ever since I turned 20 10 years ago to this day. So, um, of course, 30 means you're born in 1992, and then um, in your teens, your 10s, and then your 20s and stuff. So, um, right back then, while I was uh, telling you about the nostalgia hits home and stuff, yeah, something like that. All that, all the cartoons that I watch, all the experience I've been through, such as getting bullied, getting yelled at by your parents, you know, parents telling you what to do, um, telling you you can't stay out on a certain time at night and all that stuff. And I had to experience that too in my early 20s, but until I move out of here. So, um, anyways, um, while I was in my 20s, um, I did experience heartbreaks, I did experience threats, you know, I did experience intimidation, even though I was in the right, you know, and then all of a sudden, you know, people chase me, people boss me around, people tell me what to do and stuff, you know, but just because I'm disabled, autistic and stuff, um, don't mean that, you know, you can't let people get you down and all that stuff. I just recently learned that a few years ago and then now, as I'm getting older and getting wiser and stuff, um, as I'm getting older and wiser, um, I just now saying that, um, when you turn 30, you look back at your younger self and you learn a lot of lessons, um, such as people taking advantage of you, people taking advantage of you, people using you, people taking your stuff, you know, you know you come from and stuff, you know, you get it back and stuff, you know. Sometimes when the accused tell the other people trying to play the victim, you know, and tell them what the different story of what had actually happened, you know, and then the accused come back to me along with the other people that they told them the story to, they all came back, double teamed me, got mad at me. So that's the kind of experience that I went through. Um, and I haven't got done uh, telling you about all the day sites that I went through. Um, as long as also, um, all those day sites, you know, there's a lot of ads running through there as well. Um, I'm going to talk about that in the next newscast as well. Um, I mean, a few newscasts, whichever comes first. But I do have a plan for that one. And uh, also, um, the internet. Um, you need to be careful on what you say on the internet. Um, you know, when I was younger, you know, and the internet is becoming more frequent in today's world, you know, cable is dying out. Um, I'm going to talk about that in the newscast in the future as well um cables dying out internet's taking over computers are taking over everything you know a lot has changed while uh, while i was in my 20s so that right there you know gives me the experience the power to you know experience everything that has been going on around the world um the coronavirus hit you know inflation you know pricing getting too high you know and then living on your own and stuff. And then all of a sudden, um, people come and stay with you, you know, 
having girlfriends, you know, boyfriends, you know, having sex, you know, having kids, you know, you know, it's just everything happens so fast while you're in your 20s. So, you know, it's just like this, you know, some people are ready for marriage. Some people are not, you know, some people are ready to have kids. Some people are not, you know, some people are ready to college. Some people are not. People are ready to go to work. Some people are not as well. So, you know, it's just like this. People minds are different. And as for me, um, I'm still currently uh working for a job right now. But, you know, I'm still working on my business. You know, been going slow lately. And, you know, I'm going to get my business back up. So, um, yeah. And also, um... Another thing that I experienced while I was in my 20s, you know, drive, learning to drive on the interstate, you know, by myself, no guidance, no supervision, you know, had to, you know, work kind of different, different jobs. You know, I worked in food service, I worked in construction, I worked in industrial, you know, I worked in warehouses, you know, I've been everywhere pretty much, you know, serving food, you know, catering, you know, and then, you know, I experienced the, uh, I never experienced the beach, actually, uh, fortunately, in my 20s. I didn't, I never experienced the beach, but I did experience the water, the lakes, you know, traveling, you know, hiking, nature walks, you know, everything is was so great, you know, you just live life as it is, you know, live every day like it's your last, you know, you never know when you're gonna die, um, you know, and just be thankful you have your friends, your family, your customers, even though you, if you have a business that is, you have supporters that will stand by you, you know, just live your life the best way you could. You know, you never know what lies ahead of you. So, um, yeah, so now that I am making, making this newscast um, about, you know, ending my 20s on a good note and then beginning my 30s and, you know, and all that stuff, I mean... Uh, today is officially I turned 30 years old and you know once again I could not believe it I felt like yesterday I was 16 I was even 10 you know staying at my parents house watching TV all day playing video games no responsibilities you know I just oh my god you made me go back to the back to episode 14 while I'm talking about um, nostalgia you know eating candy bars, you know, no responsibilities, going to school, cut up, laugh, you know, eat lunch, eat lunch with your friends, you know, and, you know, yeah, um, also, um, while I was experiencing my 20s, also, I went to ITT Tech for two years, um, I haven't told you about that, but, you know, I think I'm not gonna do a newscast about ITT Tech, or should I, you know, should I tell you guys on um, my experience on when I went to ITT Tech, you know, for two years for an associate's degree, I was going to go back for my bachelor's, um, and, you know, when, um, I took a break from job searching almost seven years ago, I think, over seven years ago, it's back in 2015, remember, um, I made a newscast, I think, when I got fired from six different jobs. Um, I got fired from so many jobs. Yeah, I got fired from so many jobs. Also, you know, I was young. So, just don't get mad at me. Shit happens. I got fired from six different jobs. So, now, um, I went to ITT Tech, you know, and I thought it was a legitimate school. Um, went there for two years, met a lot of great people, you know. Trying to find a job and going to school at the same time and let me tell you going to school and working Was a very much of a hassle. It can be very tiring. It can be very uh, demanding and all that stuff. So um going to school and work, you know and When I was uh, Started my job while I was at school. My first job was working at Donato's Pizza. Um, I had a Donato shirt on while I made a few I made a few newscasts while I was wearing my Donato shirt. And, you know, I wasn't in my 20s when I first started my job. It was my first job when I turned 19, the day after my birthday. And, you know, <clears throat> sorry. When I was starting the job the day after my birthday, 
right after my birthday, I was excited. You know, I was so hyped up that I was entering the workforce for the first time. The workforce for the first time, actually. And, you know, I had a manager. His name is Seth. Um, I'm not going to say his last name, but he was a really nice guy. And so he sh took me back to the kitchen, show me the kitchen, you know, show me all the food condiments, you know, all the materials to make the pizza with. You know, pepperoni, onions, tomatoes, olives, banana peppers, you know, the dough in the freezer, in the refrigerator, the cooler, actually. I didn't mean to say the big refrigerator, I meant the cooler. So, the cooler where the dough was kept, and then the freezer where the dough was kept frozen. So, um, yeah, so he took me there, showed me everything. He showed me the computers where you take orders and all that stuff. And uh, I worked there for uh, two years before I found another job within my school of ITT Tech before, you know, ITT Tech shut down for good. Um, I was working at a cell phone company called Palco. Um, it was a really uh, a fun experience. I worked there for four months, you know. Then I got let go because of dispute, you know. I was young. Remember, I was young and dumb. Um, and... Uh, after that, um, I didn't have any tech jobs for a while, so I went to all different kinds of jobs, including packaging, uh, general labor, um, food, all these different companies around the Huntsville area. So, um, and uh, while I was uh, going through temp service, temp jobs, you know, trying to stay afloat, you know, I, everything was cheaper back then. Uh, gas was cheap, you know. I had a different car, um, living with my parents, um, and then going to, you know, school, um, kind of easy on me because, you know, I didn't work as much, you know, even though I really, 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 really wanted to work and go to school at the same time to keep myself occupied away from social media when social media starts booming and all that stuff, so, um, yeah, and then, um, a few years later, I did find a job at a plant or uh, working on uh medicine equipment you know the diabetes uh devices where you stick your poke your finger stick your finger on the uh scale or the tip uh to test your blood glucose or blood sugar whatever blood sugar yeah and then yeah that's where i was working at and then you know uh, you know what happens um and then you know Back to general labor jobs, you know, I'm not going to go into that. It's just too many bad memories that I had while I was in my 20s. You know, just a lot of bad memories. You know, I didn't work for anybody else for five years. Just me and my business, just for one year. You know, yeah, and then everything else is history. So, um, I'm not going to go into that again. I'm not going to give out my personal information. I'm not going to give out, you know, how much I make, you know. How much, you know, how my job status was because, you know, I'm working again, you know, and I haven't, you know, had too many incidents since then. So, anyway, um, wow, uh, my business, my business, started my business back in 2015. You know, I had a lot of friends. I had a lot of enemies. I had a lot of people that want to bring me down, want to blast me, want to take screenshot of me, you know. It's just crazy that, you know, it's just me doing my business, you know, and then people just want to tell stories on me, want to talk about me. You know, it's just crazy how everything transpired. All the drama, you know, people bring you and telling you this and all that and all this stuff. You know, it's just crazy how life goes by so fast. You get, you experience all this hatred, you know, all this pressure, you know. Get off social media. People threatening you. People bullying you. Why? Why you're an adult? Actually, you know, adults bully adults. Also, it's just not kids, you know. And then you hear about school shootings, mass shootings, and then you know, people getting harassed. You know, I go on YouTube a lot. Uh, actually, every day. YouTube is the main source of much uh, of my watching TV. So. 
explain this that um while I was watching YouTube, you know, people are clout chasers, you know, people going after people for clout chasing. People want to expose. Uh, <laughs> sorry, folks, just too tired today. So, um, it's uh, what time is it? It's only 10 28. Um, you know, when I was younger, too, you know, I used to stay up late all the freaking time. Late all the freaking time until five o'clock, four o'clock. I still do sometimes, but not a lot. You know, after I, every time I come home from a, from a party or gathering, late night gathering, and so I immediately go to sleep. I don't stay up. You know, listen to music, play on the computer, play video games. You know, do all this crazy stuff while I was in my twenties. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah. I used to stay up late, but not anymore. After I come in from home or just do finish whatever task I was doing, I just go straight to bed. So, um, yeah. So this is my thoughts of me turning 30 today. Um, it's just, you know, I, it wasn't scripted. You know, I'm just speaking out my thoughts because, you know, I just wanted this to be a special moment special moment for me and i would mostly appreciate you guys wishing me a happy 30th birthday would you wish your favorite person jerome harden jerome Harden studios a happy 30th birthday it would mean so um, it would mean so much to me it would mean all the world to me it would mean a lot to me if you just told me happy birthday and if you just told me that you know, you don't even have to give me a donation for real. I mean, you know, if you want to send a donation, that's fine too. You know, I would appreciate that also. You know, I don't have that many followers on YouTube. You know, I don't have that many. I, I do have a thousand, over a thousand followers on Facebook, including the Facebook live page and my personal Facebook and uh, third Facebook. So, um, yeah. <sighs> <sighs> I'm sorry, folks. I'm just too tired today. But I just wanted to make this new to make it special. So, um, yeah. So, um, I just experienced uh, what I had experienced in my 20s. Looking back, you know. And if you want me to tell more stories, I'll be sure to do that as well. You know, just, you know, let me refresh my memory of what happened during my 20s. So, I just want to make this video special, just want to make this day special, you know. And, you know, it's just me celebrating my 30th birthday. It's very special, but at the same time, very weird that you're an adult. You know, you're not a kid anymore. You're born in the 90s. You, when you're born in the 90s, you thought you was 10, 12, 16, 20, whatever. But, you know, 30, 30 years ago, you thought it was 1970 in the 2000s. So, 30 years ago... That was 1970. 1992, me 30 years old. Damn, we getting old. Okay, so that's what I want to talk about today. So I hope you guys enjoy this newscast. You know, this glass is falling off on me, so I'm just going. All right, so we're going to end this newscast right here while my glasses is off, at, that is. And I'll see you on the next newscast. So I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to go to sleep because I'm tired as hell. So... I'll see y'all tomorrow, and until next time, I'm Jerome Harden, founder and graphic designer of Jerome Harden Studios. Happy birthday to me. I'm out. Peace.